Samsung's One UI is arguably one of the best when it comes to the options for Android interfaces. With the latest One UI 6.1, the brand introduced a bunch of AI systems that help make life easier for Samsung users touted as Galaxy AI. We've already covered a bit of Galaxy AI during the launch of Samsung's Galaxy S24 series and Z Flip and Fold 6 this year, which you can all check out over here. Today, we're taking a deep dive into Galaxy AI, but with a twist. Instead of a Galaxy phone, we're going to see just how capable Galaxy AI is on Samsung's flagship tablet, the Galaxy Tab S10, Ultra. It's Miguel from Yugitech. Let's get on with it. Before we dive into Galaxy AI, you all probably want to know more about the tablet, right? Well, whatever. We're going to talk about it anyway. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Plus and Ultra are the brand's successors to the Galaxy Tab S9 series and was only launched locally last month. What we have here today is the Tab S10 Ultra the biggest and most capable model in the lineup. We get a massive 14.6 inch screen that uses a dynamic AMOLED 2X display with a resolution of 2960 by 1848, or pretty much WQXGA+. A widescreen version of QXGA, which I'm sure you guys are wondering at this point, means Quad Extended Graphics Array. It also features a 120 hertz refresh rate and exquisitely thin, bezels all around. Lol, a notch. <laughs> As a result, it offers an amazing viewing experience paired with loud and crisp stereo side-firing speakers, perfect for quick Netflix movie dates at a cafe or a park or whatever. The high refresh rate also provides buttery smooth animations when navigating through the interface and browsing websites. It also helps when you're drawing stuff using the S Pen. The screen is coated with a nice anti-glare layer, which isn't super obvious with the lights reflecting, but actually it's doing a pretty good job. But yeah, you do still see some reflections in this A-roll, but do not let that be the judgment of this anti-glare display because we are in a high, highly reflective studio environment. While the size is similar to that of a laptop already, we won't have a hard time bringing this around since it's still super thin. You can see that measuring just 5.4 millimeters and weighing in at only 718 grams. And by the way, that weight does not include the accessories that come with the box. Not to mention, it also comes with an IP68 certification for protection against dust and water resistance. So bathtub approved. The Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra is powered by a MediaTek Dimensity 9300 Plus chipset. Depending on the configuration potential buyers pick, they could even get it with 16 gigabytes of memory and one terabyte of internal storage. Although there are 12 gig RAM options with either 256 or 512 gigabytes of storage available. What's crazy is if one terabyte is still not enough storage for everything you'll be working on, there's a dedicated micro SD card slot that allows us to expand storage by up to 1.5 terabytes. Wild. Some of you might be wondering why Samsung opted to use a Dimensity chip instead of their usual Snapdragon units. Well, the Dimensity 9300 Plus adds an 8% increase in CPU, 28% increase in GPU, and 14% increase in NPU performance. We've run the benchmark scores and the numbers are still very impressive as you'll see here. So there's no need for you to worry about performance, whether it's for productivity or even gaming. While we often make fun of tablets and their cameras over here, the cameras on the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra are actually not half bad. At the rear, it sports a dual camera setup, a 13 megapixel main shooter and an 8 megapixel ultra wide. But what's more impressive are the dual front cameras over here in the notch. We get two 12 megapixel cameras here in front. One is a standard selfie focal length, while the other one is an ultra-wide selfie. Best of all, the cameras record at 4K at 30 frames per second for both the front and the rear. It also packs a big battery to boot. An 11,200 mAh battery pack, which is 
one of the biggest we can find in a tablet today. It lasts a long time too, at 11 hours and 40 minutes, based on PC Mark's Work 3.0 battery benchmark. And it got 13 hours and 33 minutes in our Yugatech video loop test. On top of that, we have 45 watts of fast charging at our disposal. But perhaps the highlight of the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra is the operating system. One UI 6.1 with Galaxy AI and it's our main focus for today. It's the same system found in the Galaxy S24 series, the Galaxy Z Flip 6 and Z Fold 6, and other Galaxy devices. There are a lot of features that Galaxy AI offers that can help make life easier for Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra users. Our personal favorite is the sketch to image function. While we were able to try it out on the Galaxy Z Flip 6, it's a lot easier and better on the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra bigger screen and all. As someone who's kind of just okay at drawing, the sketch to image function helps a lot. We can just draw a rough image of whatever we want and let Galaxy AI do the rest of the work. For example, we want to try our hand at drawing a dog. So we just tap that pen icon over there and we get, an AI, we get some AI functions over here and we can even add some, but we're picking sketch to image. So let's draw a dog, a golden retriever. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's add a tongue so it's cute. Oh, and then, whatever. It does not look like a golden retriever. Sorry. But let's turn it into see, we have some options for watercolor, illustration, sketch, pop art, or 3D cartoon. We're going for illustration. Generate. Fine tuning with artistic flair. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, look at that. Bang. Bang. Oh, this one's not bad. It kind of looks like a golden retriever here. I think the Galaxy AI was listening. Oh, and then it's like a beagle here. Okay. So even someone who's bad at arts and illustrations can utilize Galaxy AI to turn what they see in their imagination into something a bit closer to reality. Aside from drawing, Galaxy AI can also make your work or school life more productive. With Samsung Note Assist, taking down notes is a lot easier. It helps streamline the note-taking process and even automatically formats it for you. Best of all, there's now a transcription function, perfect if you're too lazy to jot down notes for lectures or for some reason incapable due to information overload. Just let Note Assist do most of the heavy lifting and summarize the important points. Outside of lectures and meetings, there's also a cool dialogue boost feature, perfect for use for dialogue heavy content like a podcast, but also helpful for when playbacking lectures. Just remember to record the lecture and or meeting beforehand. Receive the PDF file in a foreign language. Note Assist can also translate them too. Perfect if you're doing research and the source materials are in a foreign language. A feature we found ourselves using the most is Google's circle to search function. Let's just assume we're in a browser of some sorts there, and I can just hold the home button. And maybe with the S Pen, I can just whoop. And now we get results for what that is over here. So during his free time, the writer of this script, Jose, liked browsing through social media to check out the latest kicks in streetwear to keep his style up to date. He'd find a nice pair of Jordans, but wouldn't exactly be sure what model or colorway they were in. That's where Circle to Search helped out a lot. He just drew a circle around the object on his feed, and Google gave him more information about it. Plus, with the S Pen, we don't even need to touch the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra. There's a cool feature called Air Command with AI that allows users to instantly access Galaxy AI features without having to toggle between menus. When the S Pen isn't in use, we can also toggle the AI features using the Galaxy AI key on the keyboard over here. From there, we can choose between Samsung's Bixby or Google's Gemini to write whatever prompt we want, giving end users a more tailored generative AI experience by Samsung. Speaking of Bixby, end users may also want to try the in-house Samsung internet browser 
because we get some useful Galaxy AI features here as well. Once Samsung internet is launched, tapping the Galaxy AI icon here in the top right allows us to translate websites in foreign languages into our native language, although no Filipino just yet. But hey, there's another neat feature called Summarize. If you're too lazy to read a long article and just want a condensed version, you can have the browser summarize everything for you, just like so. From there, you can see whether you want to read the entire thing in detail. While not necessarily an AI feature, there's also Samsung's Dex mode. Given the size of this tablet, we may want to use it with a mouse and keyboard. You know, instead of using it like a traditional smart tablet. With Dex mode, we can easily switch between the two modes depending on what we feel like. So whether you want to be in Dex mode or you can just get out of it by exiting Dex over here. But let's keep it in Dex for now, just so you guys get the desktop experience. I mean, we wouldn't want to draw with a PC-like interface at the end of the day as well though, right? Then again, we could if we wanted to, because we totally still can. At the same time, typing documents and getting work done is a lot harder when in full tablet mode, especially when we have the actual keyboard already. So with everything said and done, with all of the AI features end users have at their fingertips, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra definitely makes sense if we're in the market for a large, high-powered 14-inch Android tablet. Not only can we get work done much faster with it, but we also have all the Galaxy AI features to make life a little simpler. When we aren't working, we also get a very powerful tablet for gaming or binge-watching our favorite shows or movies on a portable and beautiful AMOLED display. Those interested in the new Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra can head over to the Samsung Philippines website with prices starting at a whopping 92,990 pesos for the 12 plus 256 gig variant, 99,990 pesos for the 12 plus 512 gig, and 116,990 pesos for the 16 plus one terabyte variant we have right here. It ain't cheap, we know. However, we can take advantage of Samsung's various offerings, including the trade-in promo where buyers can get up to 48,000 pesos in discount. Alternatively, we can also pick the smaller Galaxy Tab S10 Plus, which starts at just 76,990 pesos if you don't need the 14-inch size display of the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra. Of course, you all can visit a physical Samsung store near you to try them out and see which one suits you the best. Anyways, what do you guys think of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra and those spanking new Galaxy AI features? Would you cop one to help with your work or school life? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you found this video enjoyable, informative, or a little fun, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that bell icon so you get notified of our future uploads. Be sure to visit ugatech.com and follow us. That's Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this has been Miguel, and this was the Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra, and I'll see you in the next one.